Hi. Now what I've got here is an example on sketching graphs and it's based also on transformations of graphs. We've got this sketch here which is of the curve with equation y equals 2 over x and x doesn't equal 0. And the curve C has equations y equals 2 over x minus 5, x not equal to 0. And we've also got a line L which has equation y equals 4x plus 2. And in the first part here we're asked to sketch and clearly label the graphs of C and L on a single diagram. And on our diagram we've got to show clearly the coordinates of the points where C and L cross the coordinate axes. And in the second part we've got to write down the equations of the asymptotes of the curve C. So if you'd like to uh, give this a go, just pause the video, come back when ready and you can check your work solution with mine. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So let's just see how you'd get on. Well, first of all, in part A anyway, we've got to sketch the graph of curve C. And essentially it's based on the graph that you see here, y equals 2 over x. But what has happened is that the graph is translated downwards by five units. We should be familiar with this idea that if we subtract a constant from the end of our function, it's going to translate the graph downwards. So if we sketch this, let's just put up our axis, okay, something along these kind of lines, x-axis and y-axis. Then if we take our graph as we have here and what we now do is just pull this graph downwards by five units. So if we just grab hold of it and pull it down say to there, five units, a translation in other words. So this graph approaches the y-axis so we could just extend it up here a little bit more. Okay, It never crosses the y-axis. So, in other words, this is an asymptote. We're going to be coming to that in part B. But we're asked to say where this curve crosses the axis. Well, it's going to only cross the x-axis as you can see at this point here. This is the curve C then. So, how do we find out where this crosses the x-axis? Well, all we've got to do is set y equal to 0. When y equals 0 in the equation of the curve C, we've got 0 would equal 2 over x minus 5. And if we add 5 to both sides, we therefore have 2 over x equals 5. Multiply both sides by x and you've got 2 equals 5x. And divide now both sides by 5 and you've got x equals 2 fifths. So you can see then that this crosses at the point where x equals 2 fifths. We'll just pop that in there, 2 fifths. Now the other thing we've got to do is draw the line L. L has equation y equals 4x plus 2. So again, being a straight line, we should know that it crosses the y-axis when x is 0. In other words, when x is 0, y would be equal to 2. So let's assume that this point here is 2 units. Okay, It's only a sketch, so it's not necessarily going to be absolutely accurate. And where would this line cross the x-axis? Well, that would be, again, when y is 0. When y is 0, we'd have 4x plus 2 would equal 0. 4x would then equal minus 2, and x would equal minus 2 quarters, or minus a half. So we'll pop that in, say, there as being the point minus a half. OK? So we've got a line, then, looking something like this. And this is the line L. Now in part b, we've got to write down the equations of the asymptotes of the curve c. And that is a line that the curve approaches but never crosses. And we've got one of them is the y-axis. The other one 
is the one that crosses here okay this is the one at minus five we took the graph here and we pulled it down by five units so it's going to be approaching this line that I've dotted here and so the y-axis has the equation x equals zero so as for the asymptotes you've got x equals zero and then this line here is y equals minus five okay